This week on Government Matters. Adversaries are trying to break in every single day, so uh, we've got to adapt our technology much more rapidly than we have in the past. In the wake of the massive data breach at OPM, is the best defense a good offense? From ABC7 and News Channel 8, this is Government Matters. To our viewers around the world on the American Forces Network and here in the nation's capital, thanks for joining us. Government is the engine that runs this city. That's why government matters. Every week, we'll bring you the top headlines in tech, security, and management. I'm your host, Morris Jones. Now, the latest on the OPM data breach. The agency plans to release the number of affected individuals on Monday. That's according to the Washington Post. Meanwhile, the hack is changing the way government thinks about cybersecurity and the way industry develop cyber solutions. Diane Cho reports. On the heels of a massive data breach at OPM. It's, it's over. The cyber criminals have won. Whatever systems and processes we had in place, they weren't effective. One cybersecurity company wants the government to take a different approach to protect their data. Most of the traditional security now in place uh, is built around a philosophy of basically building higher walls and moats to keep the bad guys out. And that's proven to be a failed, uh, failed strategy in recent years. Tessera calls it the attack in depth model, which stands for deliver, evade, persist, and take hold, operating under the assumption the hackers are already in your network. As malware gets delivered, um, it will evade detection on the perimeter. Um, it will persist on an endpoint and it will take hold across the network. To Sarah, VP of Security Solutions, Ivan Sheffrin says the most damaging behaviors occur before a data breach. Tessera uh, provides preemptive breach detection systems uh, that look for behaviors once uh, bad guys or attacker has already gotten through on the inside. Um, what we look for are the post-infection, pre-breach behaviors before data is lost or stolen. He also says they're able to see hidden behaviors and employ automated contextual analytics. Most of the perimeter defenses and uh, defense, traditional defense in depth approach look for data coming in and out, north, south, South inside the network. Uh, but they don't look very closely at data that moves laterally or, or that comes from partners. And that is creating a huge gap and uh, a tremendous amount of residual risk uh, for networks that are being protected today. But not every cybersecurity firm is on board with the idea. So you, you're seeing advanced persistent threat attacks from one command and control system so or an intermediary hopping point against you know a, a compromised system somewhere around the globe. FireEye CTO Tony Cole believes the defense in-depth model is a sound one. The problem, he says, is that it's all based on the same technology and organizations aren't moving fast enough to modify it. Adversaries are trying to break in every single day, so uh, we've got to adapt our technology much more rapidly than we have in the past. Cole says you not only have to see what malicious hackers are doing, but update your network using non-signature based technologies, among other things. It's not like moat, 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 moat. Instead, you know, you have a moat, you have a firewall, you know, you have uh, antivirus, you know, for that signature based piece. You have intrusion prevention systems that are signature based, but you also have, you know, things looking for, you know, these new targeted attacks where we've never seen the vulnerability that's being exploited. He says government agencies also need to start adopting the National Institutes of Standards and Technologies recommendations more quickly. NIST today recommends detonation chambers, which takes a virtual machine, a like image of that, moves it up to the wire and looks at any weaponized attachment, a simple spear phishing email that comes in that may have, you know, malicious attachment in it and will actually detonate it inside that virtual machine to see what's happening. For Government Matters, I'm Diane Cho. Dozens of organizations that advocate for federal workers say something also needs to change about the government's response to the OPM breach. Insight from the Federal Postal Coalition straight ahead. In case you missed it, cybersecurity has gone mainstream. So much so, the topic now boasts its own version of CBS's popular franchise, Crime Scene Investigation. CSI Cyber premiered this month. It stars Emmy Award winner Patricia Arquette as an FBI special agent in the Cyber Crime Division. She shares screen time with former Dawson's Creek actor, James Vanderbeek. And that's the latest from Washington. Thanks for watching. I'm Morris Jones. We know your week is filled with other matters. Save this half hour for us.